Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. We just arrived in Kandy, Sri Lanka, which is in the center in central Sri Lanka on a plateau. It's a lush, beautiful city. And today for lunch, Ruzaina has invited us to, well, her aunt owns a lodge and so we're staying at the lodge, uh, but her grandma has come from her home to cook for us a very special home-cooked uh, all-beef meal. The dishes that we're gonna have are unique. They're not typically available at restaurants. We're hopefully gonna see a little bit of the cooking. We're gonna eat some incredibly delicious food and just have a chance to hang out with Granny. And I'm gonna share all the food with you in this video. The tongue. The tongue. Yeah, that would be made. This is cook the intestines. They are heavy meat eaters. Awesome. Heavy meat eaters. Yeah. I like the sound of that. It's mele mele, mele roti. Yes. Mele roti. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we made it to Candy. We are in the kitchen now with uh, Grandma and some of Rosina's relatives, and they're preparing a very special meal for us that's going to be all parts of the cow. There's tongue, there's hoof, there's intestines, there's Beef. Beef, the yeah, meat. Yeah, meat. Beef meat all made into different, a variety of different curries. Um, the entire tongue is like curled up in a single clay pot curry, uh, which looks incredible. Right now she's making some mele roti, which is, uh, um, there's flour, there's coconut, shredded coconut in the, the recipe. There's, there's olive oil. Um, and then what's unique about the roti is that she's folded, she, she um, rolls it out and then folds it over like four times so that it has layers and then that goes on the hot plate to, to slowly, it's a really slow cook. Break a piece. Look, Matt, just break a piece, oh, see how yeah. soft it is? Oh yeah, it's so soft yet like crispy, fresh off the grill. I can't wait to try it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. It's like. It's a flatbread, and yet at the same time, it's kind of fluffy. Delicious. Mm. Okay. The pot roast tongue was already prepared uh, when we arrived, but she's getting ready to make another tongue. There, I saw the tongue. It was sitting in the sink. There's another tongue uncooked. She's getting ready to prepare that right now. is washing the tongue now with some powdered turmeric uh, to really clean it off, really, really, really prepare it before it's gonna get cooked, the entire tongue. That's like a foot long. And then some ginger, crushed ginger. God. She added in the ingredients to the to some simmering coconut oil and immediately you can smell the aroma coming out. The cloves, the cloves, the onions, the garlic. Oh, it smells delicious immediately. Yeah. Okay. This is you very special. Party, yeah. This is you very know. special. Martin, you can do Water and then chili powder, chili powder. and some pepper. And then now we have to uh, add salt. Okay, that will cook for a while. Yes, for and a while. Can... Can coconut vinegar? Mm. To the tongue dish, she just added a spoon of uh, coconut vinegar, and you can immediately smell the fumes coming out of the, the steam, those, those sour, vinegary fumes. Well, they're gonna be also making a rice dish. Um, so that's rice, in goes some shredded coconut, and then some salt and some flour, and then it's gonna re, the rice is already cooked. Yeah, right. And it's gonna, gonna, you're gonna form it into a little. And we're gonna steam it. Steam it in the. In a, in a, in a concoction. Concoction. <laughs> That's what it's called. A concoction. Yes. <laughs> 
I don't know what to call it. Concoction is good. Yeah. Contraption. Contraption. Contraption is better. <laughs> you really kind of like mash it up, blend it, mesh it with your fingers to get the rice completely blended with the coconut, a little bit of flour to hold it together, um, and then make it into like like funnel, they're like funnel um, cylinder cakes of rice. In their community, this community, this is a common dish. Uh, this is a common meal spread with the different beef curries with this type of rice. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, free. Added in some flour and still just kind of working it into little pellets almost. It really is going to be like a rice bread. Oh, so you just like drop it in there. Yeah. Then how long would that need to steam for? Five to ten minutes. So when the okay. steam comes on, you have to. Oh, then you put the lid on. Ah, and then okay. Let it steam some more. And let it steam for about five minutes, and then you'll have a a reinvention of a rice cake <laughs> bread. <laughs> So the dishes are almost all ready. Uh, the rice cakes are ready. Uh, yes, soon. 15 minutes, Granny says 15 minutes. Time for lunch. setting all the food on the table. The dishes are ready. There's like four or five different all beef meat dishes. There's a, an onion sambal. We're going meat heavy for this meal. Thank you, thank you. It's a beautiful, beautiful spread of food. Everything hand prepared. No recipes, no recipes. Just she knows it all. Experience. Thank no you. artificial flavor. No artificial, artificial flavor. Nothing. No artificial anything. Yes. Everything natural from yes. here. Yes. It's, it's a privilege yes. to be here. Thank you so much for, for Thank this you meal. Thank you for here. We are happy Thank to have you here. And I can't wait to taste the food now. So this is uh, our version of the pit too. Okay, I'm gonna serve the poof now. Oof. Yeah. Look at oh, all that oh, fat oh, and oh. jelly and oh, oh my that's god. So good. I'm salivating. This is the intestine stripe and fat. Oh. Oh. Full on fat. You see it jiggling. Yeah. Look. Full on see? fat. Okay. Nice. Full on meat feast. Full on meat. Love it. Yeah. Rosena just dished me an entire plate filled with all the meat. Actually, there's not even tongue on the plate yet and my plate is full. Juices, the sauces. Some of them are actually more juicy, others are more like a dry curry sauce. We've got the, the version of pitu with the, the rice and the flour and then the roti and then the sambal. The, the trotters, the feet, the intestines are just the little, you can see the little shoots. You can see the meat, it smells incredible. You can smell the cardamom, the clove, the cinnamon in there. First what you do is you, you sprinkle, you douse the pitu in fresh coconut cream. Oh yes, oh yes, as much as you, you need. And then you can kind of reach in, you can kind of squish in, you can mingle it with the meat. I'm gonna try some of that, that's just the straight meat cubes. That beef right there, I believe it's cooked down with, you can see the dry chilies in there. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so good. It's so tender, it's so soft. You taste the dry chilies, you taste like that. Yeah, you taste the cardamom, like clove flavor of it. As you keep on chewing, you taste a little bit of a sourness in that, that beef, which also comes from tamarind. Lime and lime juice. Ah, oh, one of the lime. meat is cooked with lime yeah, juice. Yeah, lime and lime juice and... Ah. Uh, oh, and the lime leaves, yeah. right, as you showed. 
that one is cooked with the lime leaves. Okay, I'll try that one next. Oh yeah, there's three. There's three meats, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll try this meat next. This one I think is the one with the, the lime leaf. Lime leaf. You can almost feel how tender it is just in your fingertips. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that one you do taste the lime. Yeah. Oh, it's like superb balance of like richness and citrusiness. This is some of the food like you grew up eating. Yeah, this is our childhood Special food. occasions. Special occasions. Family get-togethers. Family get-togethers. We have this for everything, for a, mm. for anything, like anything, for birthdays, whatever we want, like this is... And it's always this mix we had, of different... We have yeah. together, uh -huh. yeah. together, you know? Yeah. We eat a lot of meat. And awesome. also, it's a respect for the whole cow, because there's an entire animal being sacrificed. Exactly. Right, so we exactly. have to eat everything, Every not part. just one part and throw it out. So mm -hmm. for us, it's a form of respect for this animal being sacrificed. You know, mm -hmm. so we eat all, all the everything. Okay, this one is the intestines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try the fat. Piece. Oh, try the fat. Okay, yeah. Granny says <laughs> to try the chunk cold. of fat. Oh, before it gets cold. Okay, <laughs> this is the respect right here, just the straight lump of fat. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that is just like it's ultra nice, tender. Yeah. It is. Ultra tender, just like jiggly on your tongue. I'm gonna mix in with some of the sambal. Go in with the intestine, a little shoot. <laughs> that's stunning. And the, yeah, that's like a totally different style of rice. It's very crumbly. It really works well to like soak up some of that sauce. When you're tired of eating rice, 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 mm. it can be for a change. Make something like yes. this, okay. I'm moving in for the trotter, and I think I'll try the, oh, oh yeah. The hoof. Yeah. How hoof, a chunk. All the collagen is just oozing. Oh. <laughs> be careful of the little toe bones. It's not fat, but it's like, it's jiggly, it's creamy, it's collagen-y. It's so like rich and succulent. I'll have some more once I, I'm gonna grab one of those pieces of tripe. Oh. And that roti is also awesome. There's coconut stuffed into it. It's like fluffy yet like hard and dense at the same time, all at the same time. And just wrapped up with that sauce. Like what really stands out is the, the Sri Lankan version of all these dishes. It's, it has like a tropical taste to it. Like they're rich and heavy with the meat, but at the same time you taste like the lightness of the, the lime leaves, the lemongrass. It's like a combination of meaty tropicalness. I'm gonna re-coconut re and kinda, kinda work in a bite, grab a piece of meat, grab some sambal. Mm. Oh, and then, when you add a little bit of sambal, it just like complements everything. Because it's like meat, meat, mm -hmm. meat, meat, and then a little bit of tang. Like refreshing, yeah, yeah. a little bit of tang. <laughs> you still haven't started the tongue yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. We gotta try the tongue. Now the tongue Almost. has arrived, it's waiting. <laughs> the tongue has arrived. Okay. The tongue is waiting. Should we take a time out and, and tongue it? <laughs> about, about to get up to, to taste the tongue, but Granny said, I gotta finish all the fat on my plate, the fat lumps, because yeah, it'll get cold. Be like, quick, quick, eat all the fat. So I have like, I have like six lumps of fat in my mouth right now. Okay. Granny is amazing. Okay, let's try the tongue. It's like a pot roast. It's like a pot roast, but with extra seasoning and sauce. Okay. And Rosina gave me the... Pot roast version. Oh, oh it's so tender. Yeah. This one is more tender because it's quicker oh, cooked longer. That. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Rosena has given me the okay to just take a bite out of the tongue, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that's one of the most satisfying bites I've ever had. Right out of the tongue. <laughs> Thank you, Granny. Thank you, Granny. So tender. This also has like a sourness to it. Yes. Tamarind? Yes. Like a tamarind sourness. That is incredible. 
It's so tender. Like you could actually cut this with a fork. Yeah. But dense at the same time. Yes, thank you. Okay, and this is the other tongue. The sambal is incredible. Whoa. A symphony of cats. All right. <laughs> the hoof is just kind of like melting into the sauce right now. <laughs> I'm very happy that you enjoy the food. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, there's no marrow in this bone, but there's juice and there's fat. Yeah, juice and so fat. So you kind of just suck it up. Oh, yeah. Kind of like, kind of like grainy almost. Mm. Grainy, yeah? Mm. And it's like cinnamony from that spice has seeped in there and just kind of soaked in the bone. You can also lick the jelly off the joints. Mm. Oh yeah. As soon as you lick that, like your lips get coated in like a jelly, like a jelly fat. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's nice, right? Really good. To end the meal, that's like a dessert, a meat dessert. <laughs> meat dessert. <laughs> oh yeah. Milk and custard and sugar. We usually don't eat it like that anymore, but tirni. Mm. Tirni. Alternate. <laughs> This is a special custard. Uh, there's nuts in it, there's Ooh. eggs, um, and then the traditional way to eat it is with a banana. And what you do is you can chop it up or you can eat it the traditional way, which is where you take a bite of the custard or um, and then take an alternate bite. Or, or you can go like that. Then you can eat. A piece but then you of have banana. to eat them all together in one bite yes. with banana and a piece of banana and a piece of banana. Mm. After the the meat feast, it's tradition to eat this dessert yeah, with banana to, banana to digest the digest, meat. Just to cool you down. Yeah, I can feel the. <laughs> it's it's a cool day in Kandu, but I am feeling the digestion sweats. That's for sure. The meat sweats. The body is at full digestion potential right now. Hey, okay, Kashul. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's pretty awesome, actually. It's like a. Oh. oh no, I lost a piece of custard in my lap. Okay, that would be my next bite. Yeah, on its own, the custard is like, like simple, it's lightly sweet, it's creamy, and you taste the nuts in there. But when you take the banana with it, that like totally elevates the entire experience because you got the like creamy tartness of the banana mingling with the sweetness. The banana specifically has to be not overripe so that it's sour a little bit. Yeah. I think the combination is what makes it. I'm gonna lean back though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow. What a meal. The city closes really fast. Granny is an amazing cook and she cooks everything just from knowledge, from experience, and with ultimate love. The, the meat is incredibly delicious, but the love you can just taste in every single bite that you take. It's the late afternoon already, but from here we're just gonna walk around Candy a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of sightseeing, walk around, and maybe eat a little bit more. We decided to take a walk over to the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic, and it dates back to the late 1500s. It's one of the most sacred Buddhist sites in Kandy, and it's really like the heart, one of the cultural sites and uh, which surrounds the kingdom of Kandy. And so we're just gonna, actually the weather is perfect, it's cool, it's breezy, we're just gonna take a little walk around and just mostly see it from the outside. Something I always love about Sri Lanka are the trees and just massive trees with spanning branches, the birds, the crows, it's uh, the trees really stand out. You're gonna love the trees when you visit Sri Lanka. And the palm trees as well are amazing, the coconut trees. Micah's definitely enjoying himself running through the, the crowd. Micah, you enjoying yourself? Hey, 
we're off now to walk around the central downtown area of Candy. Uh, maybe eat a little bit and just walk around and explore for a little bit. Yeah, we came here and had the roti and the sambal. Uh -huh. yeah. Roti and sambal? We've been walking around Candy for a little while, just exploring it. Started drizzling, so we stopped inside. This is kind of like a, a tea shop, snack shop, a place to get quick eats, a place to get roti hoppers. We ordered some roti, we ordered some sambal, and we're also gonna have, we're gonna have hoppers? We're gonna have tea here as well, and hoppers as well. Okay, cool, thank you. Try some of the, the roti. Oh, it feels pretty thick. And then dip it into the roti. Sorry, dip it into the sambal. I got a little sambal on my lap. Just a tiny bit spicy, like quite salty. Sort of has a dry chili flavor to it, but it's kind of like, maybe the lime as well. It's that lime in it too, right? Kind of like a sharp saltiness though. Made from a combination of rice flour, uh, coconut milk, and then you can, well the, be the best thing about hoppers is the method in which they make them in a rounded skillet so that the edges are crispy and the bottom remains kind of fluffy and gummy. And it's that texture that makes a hopper. Scoop up some of that sambal. It's good because it's so fresh, the hopper. Right out of the skillet, it's warm. It's like gooey on the inside, crispy on the outside. But I gotta admit, I'm still like, pretty full from that lunch feast, the meat feast from Granny. Like that was, that was a significant lunch and that was like, it's still sitting heavy in my stomach right now. <laughs> so it's a good thing we're just snacking right now. Today has been fantastic. We drove from Colombo to Kandi. We arrived to meet with Granny and uh, Rosena's aunt and Rosena and they cooked that was an impressive, an unbelievably delicious meal. And the food was excellent. The meat was incredible, the tongue. But without a doubt, that food was cooked with so much love and that's what made it so spectacular, so so incredibly delicious with every single bite. And that is a meal that I will never forget. I wanna say a massive thank you to Granny, to Auntie, to Rizena for setting everything up and organizing everything. Massive thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Candy Sri Lanka. See you on the next video. And you're gonna wanna keep on watching this entire Sri Lanka food and travel series tomorrow. We're gonna wake up early. We're gonna go into the jungle uh, for a very unique cultural indigenous Sri Lankan food experience. Uh, so that's coming up, stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.